everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios where anything can happen and this is take three of a video where we're going to talk about the spines in junk journals. Now traditionally, when people think junk journals and stitching in their, their signatures, they think of where you've got the signature stitched in and you can see the stitching on the outside or you've stitched in your signatures and then put some kind of a spine cover on. Now this one, you can we can open it up. And let's go to the center of the signature here. Let's start with this. Where you can see that the signatures are stitched in. And then you see that stitching in two places. Both in the center of your signature. Where you stitched your signature in. And on the outside of your book. Okay? That's one way. And then there's this one where you do the same thing, but then you provide a cover of some type over your spine to hide your stitching and give you a decor another decorative element. Then there is the envelope journal. And this is one that I made last year, I believe, where the journal is completely made out of envelopes. And there is no stitching in because everything is glued together on the inside and turned into a booklet this way. In this video I will link I will link the videos down below. So the garden journal over there I will list as number one the garden journal. This one will be number two the envelope journal. Then there's one where you don't have any signature spines at all. This is an altar journal where some pages are removed and then you decorate the remaining pages with whatever you want. This is my Colorado trip journal that I want to use when I make a trip to Colorado. So this when you're using the existing um, signature stitching in the books. So there's that option. So that will be the Colorado journal. Then there is this one which is taking a six by eight uh, journal made for Project Life and just creating your pages and hole punching them and putting them in the book. And this is one of the ways that you can do a ring bound journal by using an existing ring bound album, such as this one from the Paper Studios. Just like that where you've got three rings in here and you just make your pages, hole punch them and put them in. As I've done with this uh, Sweet Promenade. So there's the floral ring bound journal. And then there's this one. Before I go to this one, let me go back to this one for a minute. You can also create your covers from existing books like we did here with this one and then add your own two ring spine which this is from uh, Paper Studios Tonic it's from Tim Holtz that's it um, where you just attach these to the inside of your spine using the brads and then you've got a two ring spine inside any cover that you want to use you just want to try and make your album proportionate to your rings or if you want to make a really long book use two of these and you can have then you'd have a four ring journal so there's that option and then lastly the one that I use is the rings here these are binder rings and I get these in six packs at Dollar Tree you can also get them at any office supply look back where they have the uh, binding supplies like um, uh, the binder clips, paper clips, that kind of thing, and you'll find these back there. And this one, depending on the size of the ring, will help determine how many pages you can put on there. Now this is the same style that I talked about on Monday, where I'm going to use this ring style to do the baby albums. So the baby albums will be approximately this size, and then I'm going to load these rings up with 
uh, tie on fibers and ribbons and give them a real shabby chic look. You can see this one here is starting to tear out, which is a good reason to use maybe quarter inch eyelets. And if you're not sure where to find quarter inch eyelets, look in your sewing department. Hold that thought, I'll show you what to look for. Sorry, I didn't think about them until just now. But if you want something larger than a traditional eyelet, look in the sewing department. These are from Hobby Lobby from the Sewology, where you get the grommet or the eyelet, which can be a two-piece, and you get the setter. So all you need is a small hammer and maybe a uh, piece of wood. They use this little grommet here and pound those in and set your eyelets into these. And they come in multiple sizes. These are 5 16 I've got some that are a quarter. I have some that are, I think, 3 16 or 3 8 something like that. You can get them in several different sizes. So just look in your sewing department at Hobby Lobby. So you have your ring bound. You have your spine ring, ring bound, like notebook style. Then you have your... Whew, you have your altered book where you use the existing pages, just removing some pages out to make room for all the stuff you're going to turn around and add back in. There's the stitched in spine where you sew your signatures into your spine, as I've done with this garden journal. Here. So that's a stitched in spine. There's a stitched in spine where you sew your signatures in and then create a hidden cover. Now there is also a way to do a hidden spine and that's a totally different discussion. Um, and then there's this one which is an envelope journal where everything is glued in together to create almost like a traveler's notebook style. And then there's your traditional ring bound using a memory keeping type album or even an eight by you know eight and a half by eleven regular ring bound notebook album if depending on the size that you want to work with so that's spines if you have any questions about spines please leave me a comment down below and i'll do my best to answer them also uh, remember to like share and subscribe um, give this video a thumbs up remember to share out to your friends and to post on pinterest uh, when you subscribe, remember to click all notifications so that you don't miss anything coming up on this channel. Because as you can tell, you never know what we're going to be discussing. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Have a happy weekend. Creative blessings.